Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which replaces each node with its depth in a binary tree. First, let us take an example. Root is at depth 0, so we change its value to 0 and next level nodes are at depth 1 and so on. Now, let us look at the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 1 into the function replace node and also take a level equal to 0 for root node. So node will point to 3 which is the root node. Since root is not null, we replace node's data with level. So 3 will be replaced by level which is 0. Now we call for the left child of node which is 2 along with level plus 1 using a call stack. So now node will point to 2 and level will point to 1. Again since node is not null we replace node's data with level. So 2 will be replaced by 1. We further pass the left child of node which is 1 along with level plus 1. So now node will point to 1 and level will be equal to 2. We replace node's data with level, so 1 in level 2 will be replaced by 2. Now we pass the left child of 2 which is null. Since root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Execution for node 2 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 2 which is also null. So node will point to null. Again, since node is null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for node 2. Execution for node 1 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 1 which is null. So node will point to null. Since node is pointing to null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for node 1. Execution for node 0 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 0 which is 5 along with level for 1. Since node is not null, we replace node's data with level. So 5 will be replaced by 1. Next, we pass the left child of node which is null. So node will point to null. Since node is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Execution for node 1 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 1 which is also null. Again, since node is pointing to null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for node 1. Execution for node 0 is also over and we have the final tree which has all the nodes replaced by its depth. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.